going on guys? Taco here with Tocito Homestead. And since I'm not outside doing anything today because of the ground being wet and everybody's already been fed, I figured I would try to fix some stuff inside. Nothing too major, just minor. Uh, the main thing is, is uh, heaters. Especially in the winter time, we don't have uh, central heat and air. So we have to use electric heaters and the fireplace. But the electric heaters, which is these types right here, these types of heaters right here, uh, we have about two or three of them, and they work they work really well uh, for heating like small rooms, the den downstairs uh, that I'm remodeling. But the problem is with these heaters, is the base. Look at the base; it's no good. I mean, it, it tips over too easy, and when they tip over, and when I say tip over, I mean kids knocking them over it it'll bust the thermostat and I'll show you in a minute it'll bust the thermostat and it messes up the sensor for when it tips over it'll turn off but also the thermostat will burn up on these two really quick um, they're really poor design but you can fix that you can bypass that um, instead of throwing it away I've done it twice this one that I'm fixing to show you <clears throat> is the worst by far the worst the thermostat the control knob for the the low medium high all of it quit working but i bypassed all of that so that when you plug it in it still heats so you're not throwing away a heater just because the thermostat don't work or the the knob for the heat quits working you can bypass it and still use the heater just by plugging it up so i'll show you how i did it so this is the front of the heater uh, and as you can see it has it's got a high a low fan and off and down here's a thermostat from minimum to max so i mean i'm not a professional by no means professional electrician but i'm a do-it-yourselfer so this is what i did all right on the on the fan speed on the the high low there should be four wires. You'll have two white wires and you'll have two black wires on this toggle right here when, once I show you on the, on the inside of it. Alright, on the, the temperature, there's going to be two black wires and there'll be a top and the bottom. So let's go over here and I'll show you. Alright, so this is just the back side of it. Alright, see here you have your your two black wires, which is one comes in right here, it's the hot, it goes down right here to the thermostat, and then you'll have another black wire which goes up to the fan, which is right here, okay, and then right here for the fan speed, it all meets the four wires, the two white wires and the two black wires, okay, so what you do is, I got all the white wires and I tied them together, which is your neutrals. All right. The black wires, which are on the the knob for the the low and the high, I tied the black wires together. I hadn't done it yet. I'm just showing you right here. The, these two black wires. You tied these two black wires together right here. So after you do that, this will work. Um, of course the sensor don't work when you knock it over it's still going to run but it's still going to run um, so we have to have it so this is what I'm going to do so I'm going to get everything plugged up with the, the wire nuts and then I'll show you again alright so the wire nuts on right here the hot wire coming in from the receptacle tied together with the black wire and these two wires were hooked up right here for the thermostat to tie those together these it actually was just two wires for the fan speed this wire right here goes to the to the light it just shows that it's on you tie all those white wires together all three of these you tie together the two white wires on the fan speed and the two black wires underneath here and you see it. The two black wires. You tie those together. So basically, you're wiring it to be hot. 
running max on the fan speed, max on the thermostat. You bypass everything. But if you need it like we do, like I said, it works. Um, so, I'm not a professional at this, but there's a better way to do it. And y'all know about it. I'm open for suggestions. But this has worked for me, so this is how I do it. So instead of throwing away a perfectly fine heater, you wire it like this right here, and you'll still have heat. All right, so I plugged it up and everything worked. The heat's going, the light's showing, I'm not being electrocuted, and hopefully it works for another five to six years. I have to replace it with a brand new one. We can keep using this one, repurpose. I hope I made sense to y'all and you can understand how to fix something like this instead of spending more money when you don't have to. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and as always, keep it taco.